Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode two of Power of Hope. Pretty here for bleh, full bloom. Mm -hmm. Take three, and I messed it up. It's okay. But other than that, it's gonna get started with episode two in three, two, one, go. Let's see what happens. Makes me wonder if we're possibly going to see nuts and cocoa today. Maybe. <laughs> Look at baby. Oh. <laughs> she is drunk out of her mind, and I love it. Sounds good. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Exactly. You guys all have fun. Yeah, cut me, what are you drinking? <laughs>
Oh, but you're trying your best though. Right? <laughs> oh, those are gorgeous. You see, if somebody would actually really make those, I would buy on a heartbeat. That's good. The fact that we just get to see them today. Ah! He wants to talk about the flower that he's all. Well, we already knew Rin was a big, a big flirt between these two, but as a drunk, oh my god, she's so cute. Hmm? Oh my god! <laughs> What could it mean? Yeah, you do need to go home. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> My baby for you.
I mean, be happy. You got an award for your novel. Yeah. Oh, when's the last time you wrote? You could, baby, and they would rely on you and comfort you. She's right. Mm. But if Um, uh, oh God. Mm. I wouldn't touch it though. Same flower. Oh, there's several. Mm-hmm. I know that's right.
What's her face is right? Yeah. My splash dart girls. <laughs> getting like hella persona 3 vibes i mean you could see last week but now this week oh you're just waiting for tataris just to show up and, and makoto and the and the rest of the seeds to show up right now because oh my god also, we'll talk about the CGI at the end of the episode. Right? This is a life or death situation? Freaking Naruto trying to wake up her son. Oh my god, I can't. Shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. 
I didn't think it would be like that, but like, oh. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my God. <laughs> The fact that they've gone like all out just for this little moment. <laughs> That was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this is the best thing ever. Oh my god, like, <laughs> the quality. The fact is that when you look at the transformation, it still looks the same from all those years ago, but still very high definition. Like, oh my god, and they just all in on the first fight. Oh my god, she looked so fucking good. Oh my god, I'm about to tweet about this after I'm watching the episode and such because I did see like a snippet and I think I retweeted something but I was like I, I won't watch it until I see the opposite and such but what I like the little part that I saw I was like oh my god they went in on this but she looks so good and it makes me so excited to see the rest of the girls oh my god oh this is just so good and it's only episode two. Oh my god everything okay now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The CGI gives me very feels towards when Toei was doing season one and season two of Sailor Moon Crystal. Um, specifically more of the transformation scenes for Usagi and everyone else. I'm not mad at it. I get the reason on why they possibly wanted to do CGI for the monsters and such. Um, because something tells me, because it, it is still Toei animating this, but I think it's another company also doing this as well. And whoever that secondary company is, they're the ones doing the CGI on this. Like I said, it's not bad. I've seen worse CGI, we all know. If you have not seen some of the animes with the worst CGI, like really ugly looking CGI, like this is like better team to like any other, the worst ones that I've seen. But yeah, it wasn't that bad. I do love the fact that the time flower is the thing that is making them, like, go back to being teenagers and instantly able to transform again. So especially when we see uh, Mahotsuka next year, we're probably going to see something very similar to that. Or in a weird way, working its way for that series. I'm not really sure, but I was expecting episode three to be, like, Rin. But I am surprised that they're doing Kadeen next. I mean, because Kadeen 
of course, we all know I love her. I love everybody in this damn group because, duh. But just uh, to have Cutting go next, especially with how Cutting's journey is and such. But to see them, you know, out and doing their regular jobs, even with Komachi, like having this, you know, moment where she is stuck and she can't really find anything, like any good idea of something to write next. We've all been in that predicament and in those moments. Um with anything in our careers or in our jobs and such. And so I think when we specifically get to Kamachi's episode when she does transform, I feel like that will be her major instinct of her trying to find something um, for writing. Love the fact that Nuts and Syrup were mentioned and shown in this episode. Coco, once again, is still just mentioned, but something tells me eventually he is also going to pop up as well. But it does make me wonder if they're going to come back into town and also be in like their human forms. But when they do come into their human forms are it well, no, not are is syrup automatically going to be like older or is he just going to be the same age as he was in Gogo? And that's the same thing with nuts and Coco because nuts and Coco have always been adults. We've already known that since day one. Um, because we already know what Toei is going to do when it comes to, Coco and uh, knows me. We all know that. It's very, I, I think it was very obvious, especially um, when this got announced. And I think a couple of months after this got announced and everybody like started bringing everything up. So possibly we, I, I mean, I'm not too sure. They could be going a different route with it, but you know, because we're only on episode two, we really don't know still anything about this but yeah, yeah yeah the monsters and everything all this vibe definitely persona 3 vibes like straight up if you have not played persona 3 go play persona 3 are just wait for reload that's coming out next year at the beginning of the year because honestly when that comes out day one your girl is buying it or hell i might end up pre-ordering it soon because of course those are my babies and i love them so freaking much but this was so freaking good to see them all together again and <laughs> all of them Poor, you know, Connie, she can't get drunk because, yes, as a doctor, she always has to be on standby mode. But seeing everyone else getting drunk and they couldn't eat, like, <laughs> super drunk. And then she sees three. It's fucking hilarious. Rin, you know, just being, like, first a flirty drunk and always flirting with Nozomi because, duh, they're a couple. We all know that. And then going into from flirty to just crying and such <laughs> me I, I like like i said um with the shield hero video i when I, i'm a natural flirt and stuff now when i drink maybe like I, I feel like my flirtation is a little bit more i am super giggly super super giggly because as someone who just got like hella turn last monday um i i was gone i had two freaking good behind trick-or-treat margaritas and I was gone. And, and mind you, the Chili's Trick or Treat Margarita is freaking big. And I, I drank mine like super, super quickly. And with my mom's, because my mom only had like a couple of sips, she was like, here, you have it. And I, she wanted me to chug it because it was almost time for us to go. And I chugged the whole thing. And then you have like the sweet tart candy at the bottom. Oh my God, it was so good. I would love to have another one. But yes, yeah, see, them getting drunk was just so freaking cute. Like, oh my God. My babies have grown. I feel like a proud mommy. Like, oh my God. Because it's like, officially, they've all also grown with me. But it's still at the same time, like the mommy moment. It's just so freaking adorable and cute. And I love it so much. And honestly, if we don't get more episodes where they kind of get a little turnt, I, I mean, I will love it. So please, give me more. Please and thank you. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Power of Hope. Pretty here, a full balloon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode three. Bye, guys.